We are back on Cup of Buying today. We are taking your calls. This is your last opportunity to call us. So make sure you call us at 1-800-553-5724. Kasama natin si Bernard on the phone. Bernard, are you there? Yes, ma'am. I'm here. Hi. What is your question today? Uh, my question is, uh, I have a daughter. She got petitioned by my American wife when she was minor. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you yes. hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, maybe I should shut off that. It's like you're uh, kind of delayed. Okay. My question is about my daughter. She got petition, and uh, she she got her uh, green green card, temporary green card, about well, 2000. And then uh, what happened was she got involved in some uh, bad uh, company, and she jumped bail. In short, she jumped bail. She went back to the Philippines, and then she finished her college, but then her uh, her green card expired. And then I petitioned her again, 2005. Now, uh, is there a chance that she can still come back here? No, please. Okay. Uh, well, uh, it, it sounds like there's some issues that I'm not quite certain as to, to what, 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 why she left the, the Philippines. There's certainly nothing wrong with going through an application process again. I mean, you can be here as a permanent resident, decide to return and lose your residency, and then be petitioned again. I mean, that happens all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, if the reasons why she left the United States have something to do with some criminal issues or yes. some, some something like that, then yes, those will be issues on reentry. If they are crimes of moral turpitude, they make her inadmissible. She'll need a waiver to come back in. If there are other issues that maybe it's not even a crime of moral turpitude, but she hasn't uh, finished probation or she's run out, there is a discretionary uh, thing that the the embassies can decide they don't want to let you in because you haven't shown yourself to be a good person. So uh, all of these things can affect uh, how you come back, and so it's important to have somebody look at that and make sure that there's a path for her to come through. Right. So basically, it means uh, that you need to get a lawyer para sigurado, sigurado, no? Uh, and uh, this number that's on the screen, if you need a reliable attorney to answer these questions, make sure to give Allison Aquino Silva and attorney Richard Law a call at 888 seven nine seven one one four zero because there's a lot of people out there that can give you misinformation and that might jeopardize your chance to obviously come to america legally and who would want that right exactly yeah, yeah. so it's always important that you have the proper legal advice make sure that you uh, call them for a consultation and if not you can also skype with them um, and uh, they're here in Pasadena, but you know, with the technology today, you can be anywhere in the world, right? So I just want to say thank you once again for coming and sharing all your knowledge with our Kababayans that watched our show today. Always a pleasure, G. All yeah. right. Maraming maraming salamat. We look forward to having you back. At mga Kababayan, uh, thank you so much for watching our program today. Please make sure you consult uh, an attorney if you have questions um, and it's always important to get the right information. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji. Thank you for watching Kababayan today. Bye. Aquino and Lowe services are nationwide and international. They are board certified immigration law specialists. Contact us to schedule a consultation in our South Pasadena office via phone, email, or Skype. And follow us on social media and Yelp.